Hello everyone, welcome to mbsdigital.com. So in this video, we are going to discuss about fibroadenoma. As you all know, the fibroadenoma is a benign condition, is a benign tumor of breast tissue, and it is also known as breast mouse. Why it is known as breast mouse? Because it is freely movable in the breast. It is not fixed to the structures of breast and most common age group in which it presents is 15 to 30 years of age and only females are affected and it is a benign condition now coming to etiology what is the etiology uh, there is increased sensitivity of estrogen this increased sensitivity of estrogen uh, is at focal areas of the breast tissue which leads to hyperplasia of the breast tissue and this leads to fibroadenoma or lump in the breast. Now pathophysiology it is an encapsulated because it is a benign condition so it is encapsulated spherical lesion which is composed of fibrous and glandular tissue so it is composed of both fibrous and glandular tissue now coming to the types of fibroadenoma so what are the types we have classified into two types firstly gross and second one is microscopy in the gross type we have classified it into soft hard and giant we call it as giant when the size of lump is more than 5 cm and it is most commonly present in africa most common con uh, country which uh, in which it presents is africa now the microscopical classification number one is intracanalicular and number second is pericanalicular pericanalicular i write it as peri now the intracanalicular is mainly of fibrous tissue mainly made up of fibrous tissue and this is small and hard and this one is pericanalicular is mainly cellular type and uh, this is large and soft so these are the types now coming to the clinical features so the only complaint of the patient is lump in the breast this lump is the only clinical feature in which the patient presents it is painful lump it is a painful lump which is smooth firm non tender and well localized and freely mobile so these are the characteristic of lump of this lump and uh, the axillary lymph nodes are not present because it is a benign condition so this is all about the clinical features now coming to the investigations so the investigation you have to do are number one is mammography mammography in mammography you find popcorn calcification popcorn calcification are the macro calcifications which are present in benign condition but uh, if we found the mac micro calcification then we can suspect the malignancy so the mammography is very important investigation in breast tissue second is FNAC fine needle aspiration cytology and this is investigation of choice this is investigation of choice in a fibroadenoma and the last is ultrasonography ultrasonography is used to confirm solid nature now coming to the treatment part since it is benign condition and there is no certain clinical feature so the treatment is no treatment no treatment should be given if it is uh, asymptomatic and diagnosis is confirmed but if 
इट इज अस्पीशियस लीजन इट इज सस्पीशियस लीजन देन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस इज वॉट इज द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस कैन यू इमेजिन एक्सीजन एक्सीजन एक्सीजनल बायोपसी एक्सीजनल बायोपसी इज डन इंसीजन इज गिवेन विच इज सरकम एरियोलर और सब मेमोरी इंसीजन एंड देन वी टेक आउट द लीजन एंड दिस इज द सर्जरी एक्सीजनल बायोपसी दैट वी हैव डन इन फाइब्रो एडिनोमा सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट फाइब्रो एडिनोमा सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज एंड प्लीज लाइक दिस एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग एंड कीप सब्सक्राइबिंग थैंक यू